What is up, my beloved champions fam? It's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. And today we're going to do a Helmo run of Wednesday's limited time tour main event Wednesdays for the Trickster class. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. We're going to be running my man, Ruthless Aggression, Randy Orton, the legend killer. And this is the build that we're going to be using this time around. So we have the RKO, which is going to deal damage. Plus it's going to destroy botch gems. Then we have the low blow dealing damage and making botch gems and the eye rake, which is going to deal damage and allow us to choose gems to make into green so we can get that finisher off. For his trainer build, we have Xavier Woods Modern Era Trickster for Purple MP. Then we have Trickster Legend Arn Anderson Double A for more botch gems. Then finally, for the coach side, ladies first as always, we have the Empress of Tomorrow herself, Modern Era Technician Asuka for that Berserker mode so we can deal some extra damage if we lose a certain amount of health within a turn. And finally, our man Uso, Modern Era Technician Jay Uso, that is, allowing us to reduce submissions by a certain amount of turns. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's get into some action taking on the big show right out of the gate. How have you all been? I apologize that I missed out on the Acrobat Tour, but best believe I will be back around and doubling back for that. But ultimately, I hope that you all had an incredible, incredible Tuesday, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day today as you're watching this video. Right out of the gate, we got the Wild Cardinals, the Wild Cardinal, to the Wild Cardinals. Can't beat that. How have y'all been doing when it comes to the Faction Battle Royale contest? How many of you have capitalized and have already walked away with some very nice four-star gold additions to your roster. Salute once again to Big Papa Bry. Salute once again to OG Gersam for doing their thing when it comes to the content. Mad love to y'all as always. Salute, salute. But what about everybody else? How have you been doing? Have you even been able to actually make a four-star addition to your roster yet? Or are you just waiting until the proper opportunity comes around due to the fact that you are still building your ro roster up. I can't knock you either way, but all in all, four-star golds are here to stay. So what are your thoughts on that? Especially considering they have already said that we will be getting five stars in the future. What are your thoughts on the four-star goals that are already in the game? Are you ready for this upcoming weekend's flash feuds, y'all, if you want to call it that? Ha <laughs> ha. But... It'll still be something to pass the time. Get ready to get that grind in. Honestly, play it safe. Play it smart. Do what you got to do. Heal yourselves up. Get in and out of those queues every single time when you have the opportunity and move forward with those points so that your faction walks away with some decent rewards for your efforts. There's no a way no way, pardon me, around that. Now we're going to move on to this node right here against the dead man. Let's see what we can do to Legend Killer. Can he take down the legend once more? Or will it be a time for the future Viper to rest in peace? Who's your favorite technician, y'all? Who is your favorite technician? Because let's be realistic. In my opinion, I honestly think the technicians are possibly the weakest class in the game right now when it comes to, you know, people to represent. That's the best way to put it. I mean, you got Legend Killer Orton here. You got Root of All Evil Aleister Black. Pardon me. I was trying to go for that, and we got it right there. You know, you got a couple of top-tier top tier guys. There's no way around that. There's definitely no way around that. But all in all, though, the real question is, when will we see a boost to the technician class? Because we definitely need a huge boost when it comes to champions that represent. Lita's solid for a free-to-play unit. Orton, Root of All Evil Black. Perfect is decent at three-star. A dude that's slept on. Definitely a top-tier technician in my opinion. I can't wait to get him. Is none other than the X-Break Gem Trainer himself. DDP. Definitely a top tier underdog, underrated unit within champions at the moment. You got your guys in DX 
HBK and Triple H holding it down on the, you know, pay to play VIP standpoint when it comes to technicians. But all in all, when I really think about it, technicians are definitely the weakest class at the moment. There's there's so many solid picks when it comes to the other five classes easily. There's there's no way around it. So I hope I hope that champions does turn things around when it moves forward when it comes to the meta because now the four star golds are here five stars are going to be on the way in the future i am looking forward to see a lot of new faces come into play and i'm looking forward to seeing a lot of new abilities if y'all haven't noticed as of late we have been getting a lot more champions with hybrid trainer or coaching abilities and that is actually a very very fascinating situation that's going on and i am absolutely excited to see how it turns out because could this possibly be leading to something else something bigger something deeper maybe another option or alternative to taking on four star goals and possibly five stars maybe we will see not only hybrid trainer and coaching abilities but maybe we will also see hybrid champions with different classes now granted this is something that is just completely theoretical, but it is a possibility. You got a lot of champions now that have coaching and trainer trainer abilities that cover two things instead of just one. So why not see, you know, a mashup of, you know, best of both worlds, so to speak, when it comes to things, uh, you know, seeing an opportunity to capitalize on more characters by having a new type of champion introduced into the game. So, you know, for instance, uh, a showboat powerhouse, possibly an acrobat striker, you know, even a blend of something like technician trickster would be fascinating to see the type of move sets, the type of abilities that they would be able to utilize within the game. That would definitely be something to look out for. Now, with this brand new September MLC on the way, after the conclusion of the Faction Battle Royale contest, we got some blitzes this week. We have the Flash Feuds once again taking place this weekend. I hope you have your schedule open because this is definitely going to be a grind this time around with the different types of requirements, but we're still going to be able to get it done. But when it comes to that MLC, who do y'all think's coming up next, y'all? Like, let's be re realistic. Looking at the characters, the champions that have not been properly introduced into champions yet looking at what's going on in the wwe itself who's somebody that could possibly be a mlc champion that we could look into and look forward to when it comes to september uh me personally when i sit back and think about things i literally could see drew mcintyre i could see buddy murphy buddy murphy has been absolutely incredible even if he's losing he looks great looks solid mustafa ali definitely would be a solid choice andrade amas one of my favorite hey Eagolo. Definitely one of my favorites, y'all. Hands down one of my favorites. But there's so many options that could be introduced. Lars Sullivan, where is he at? Uh, Shayna Baszler. I love my NXT people. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, Undisputed Era. That would be great. Shock the system. That would be a solid addition to champions. But um, when it comes to this September MLC, I really don't know. They could go the female route. We could possibly finally see Trish Stratus or Stephanie McMahon enter the game. We just saw the Bellas. They could easily continue that momentum moving forward. So it's definitely something to consider. But at the same time, I mean, there's a lot of solid options on the male standpoint, too. I mean, for instance, we got Kofi Kingston, Kofi Mania running wild. He's been on a solid roll. You know, he got a very good look when it came to the whole ordeal, when it came to how things played out for him and his WrestleMania story. That that was definitely a beauty to see, a thing to witness. That was definitely a piece of wrestling history. First ever actual official African-American WWE champion ever. Although Rock is biracial, he's mixed with Samoan and African-American. Kofi Kingston is hands down the very first ever African-American wwe champion ever in the wwe so that was a definite solid look and yes we could include ron simmons but that was wcw that was a different time and era but for wwe canon kofi was the first so could we see kofi kingston getting a good nod possibly possibly what about daniel bryan y'all like i've been wanting i have been wanting the people 
of the community have been longing for a new Daniel Bryan. More specifically, the new Daniel Bryan. We're going to use these health packs here because we're going up against my dude. Hey, yo, the bad guy, Chico Reza Ramon. I cannot wait to pull him. Can't wait. Can't wait to pull him because legit, I'm going to stop calling myself the bad guy until I actually pull the bad guy, hands down. So let's see what we're going to do right here. Man, they got us messed up. I could, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right there. And that's going to give us a lot. We're going to be able to level up. Cool, cool. Do as much damage as you can, my boy. Do as much damage as you can because we're going to need it. I hate that annoying, that annoying submission by Razor. But the new Daniel Bryan would be cool. I would love to see, honestly, in all reality, I would love to see a brand new Eric Rowan or at least a gear for Bludgeon Brother Rowan since he's rolling with Daniel Bryan and they could easily get a link. They could easily get a link. They've been solid. They've been tag team champions. So, I mean, that's something you can't really deny. You can't deny what's been going on. They've been absolutely good. And yes, we're going to be able to kill Razor. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We could have hit him with the finisher. Hands down, a very powerful finisher when it comes to the RKO and Randy Orton. One of the champions that got a solid look, but Rowan getting gear at least, if there is a new, the new Daniel Bryan, I could easily see him as a trickster, but re reality strikes me all the time. And reality wise, I have to be real with myself. I honestly would like to see a new variation of Daniel Bryan, but he would have to be a technician, man. He is hands down one of the best, best technical wrestlers in the WWE's history. There's no way around that. I would say Bryan is up there with Bret Hart when it comes to technicality within the ring. There's a couple of other, other wrestlers that I could include, but I'm not going to mention their names just because of, you know, things that have happened in the past. But definitely... I would say Daniel Bryan would definitely make sense as a technician. A man, even if we don't get Daniel Bryan or Kofi Kingston, uh, there's still a lot of fan favorites out there. You know, we got Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose, you know, got some eye candy showing love to the females again. What about heavy machinery? That would be cool. The revival would be solid. Looking at the work that they're doing at the moment when it comes to uh, the New Day as well as the Revival and Randy Orton, I think that the Revival would definitely be another solid choice for a champion choice when it comes to uh, MLC content in the future. I still stand by what I think, though, reality-wise, cause, no lie, hands down, we need The Fiend. The Fiend needs to come to WWE Champions. There's no way around it. I, I, I love Bray Wyatt. I support Bray Wyatt to the fullest. I am surprised I did not get that. That is actually strange. I'm actually baffled by that. Um, I love Bray Wyatt. I've always loved Bray Wyatt, and I always will love Bray Wyatt. That's just the way it's always going to be. But um, I definitely think with how strong The Fiend is in real life, I think it would be a good nod for him to actually get that, that nod in WWE Champions. Whether he's a prize wall, loot, Mega superstar champion. I could care less. As long as I got some fiend in my life, I'm Gucci. I'm good. That's all I want. That's all I care for and crave is the fiend because we all need to let him in. But WWE champions is still delivering y'all. They're still doing their thing, hands down. Uh, we've got, had a couple setbacks, but we're still rolling strong. And I'm still just curious about what's going to come up in the next MLC. I want to see what it's going to be. Male champions, female champions. Uh, I would like to see the great Kali show up in, in WWE champions. I think he would be a great look. A uh, couple of fan favorites. I mean, the Viking experience. I mean, the aka Viking Raiders. They would be a great look. They definitely would be a great look. I don't even care if we don't get the three star in the match. We're going to still finish the match. Uh, the Viking Raiders would be solid. I mean, even seeing Kurt Hawkins or Zack Ryder in the game would be interesting. Our truth, our truth and Carmella, Carmella, Carmella. That 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 has to happen. 
what he's doing for the 24-7-11 European Intercontinental Television Championship. <laughs> he needs to get a nod at WWE Champions, if you know what I'm saying. That definitely would be, uh, be, uh, be a good look. And plus, you know, Carmella's another lovely lady of the WWE roster at the moment. And Mella is money, so why not? Why not give them a good look? I could easily see R-Truth as a prize wall champion, Mella as a free-to-play, or you can reverse them either way. But I think that would be another good notion. Another good pick for champions for the MLC, if you aren't aware of it, in my opinion, personally, just me personally, that is, man, we're using up some health packs, but we're going to do what we got to do. We'll go back for the tough Seth one another day, but we're not going to do that right here and now. Hmm, who would be a good partner for, I think that would be good. Oh, wow. Okay. It's whatever. We're still going to be Gucci. You know what? We're going to actually take out Paige and go for a class advantage. And we're going to take our girl, Rhonda. We're going to take Rhonda in with us. We're going to roll with that. But um, hmm, another good fan pick, even though they've been forgotten about for a while, just because you haven't really heard much about them and due to things that have happened with the brand split and wild card rules, what have you, injuries. Brazango, Fandango, and Tyler Breeze would be solid to see just because I could see them both. Honestly, I could really see them both as, um, I could see them as showboats. I could see them as a showboat tag team. They got the charisma there. They, they definitely had it showboat and acrobat. I could easily see that happening with, um, uh, with the, um, fashion police, so to speak. It would be an interesting look. We had a, a good nod at a couple of champions a year ago. I mean, Gentleman Jack Gallagher, we saw skins for him, and he has yet to have been revealed in the game. So, you know, it'd be cool. Maybe 205, Tony Nice, you know, Drew Gulak. There's so many champions that are that are wrestlers, part of me, that have yet to have been actually properly introduced into the game. I don't even know what the heck just happened. With, uh, with I don't know what just happened right here. But it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I literally do a move and I look back at Honky Tonk Man. I'm sitting here talking and ranting and rumbling. And he's already loaded up on everything. Dang, this is when you wish you used auto clear tickets. But if we did that, we wouldn't have content to do. So it is what it is. I got my Dead Man's Daily out of the way. If y'all want to see me do a clear of my Dead Man's Daily, I'd be more than happy to do that for y'all as well. So we'll just see what happens. We're, we're going to be able to get out of this. It's just looking a little rough at the moment. It's just, just going to be a little tough. <laughs> but we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. All right. Those countdown gems. That's that's where that's that's where he's hitting me. That's what's going on here. Oh, wow. Orton Orton gets neutered by Honky Tonk Man. God tier doesn't even matter right now. We are getting properly neutered by the Honky Tonk Man. Who would have thunk it? Shake, rattle, and roll my ass. <laughs> we are definitely going to get an RKO on this dude. If we got to just start going for greens whenever the greens show up, man, that's what we're going to do here because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Tough Seth, I could take that L from Tough Seth because that's Tough Seth, but I'll be damned if I get showed up by the doggone honky talk, man. That is, that, oh man, what do I do? What do I do? You know what? I'm going to roll it out because I know if I if I tag in, he's going to tag right back in. So we're going to have to figure out something. We're, we're going to have to think like we're in a Jojo Bizarre Adventure episode right now. The world, though, because this is this is not going the way I thought, my boy. I was I wasn't even really caring for the three star. But, you know, when you're making content, you you, you got to care for something. Right. So we're going to get this and that way. Even if we don't, oh, he stole my shit. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this dude is such an ass. And then she's coming in with the botch gems. Oh, this is a long day at the office. I thought this is going to be faster than the, um, than the powerhouse run. But you know what? They they have decided to, to, to give me that work. They have decided to give me that work today. They're like, you're going to learn today. All right, you're going to learn today. So we're going to put these down here and hope something connects. Hopefully we get a wild card or something. <laughs> work with something. Do something, Rhonda. Rhonda, come through. Please come through, boo. Thank you. Thank you.
always the baddest bitch on the planet comes through even even with a, a broken finger that almost came off after shooting <laughs> shooting a shooting film Rhonda still comes through like the badass she's meant to be so thank you Jesus for Rhonda thank you WWE champions for Rhonda so let's slap on this submission right quick all right, so we got three turns, and she's obviously not going to tap out. All we want are those those gems. There we go. There we go. And he's going to tag us back in, and then hell continues. Like, this is going to be ridiculous, man. I would hit the finisher. I truly would hit the finisher. But we ain't even got that type of time, man. We ain't even got that type of time. If I could get that purple off once <laughs> to get those botch gems, we would be solid. We would be good. We be all right. We be all right. That's not that's not happening in this video. We do raw footage, raw footage, son. <laughs> right now, completely raw, right off the rip. Man, we getting our asses whooped, dude. <laughs> we getting our asses whooped. But let's let's try to do something. Do something. All right. So what's what what's he going to do? He's well. That was that was a no brainer. Luckily, oh, that that jerk, man, that jerk, that jerk indeed. All right, we're going to take that black, get that for Rhonda because we ain't doing nothing. That countdown gem is a pain. If I catch an L, I catch an L. I have no regrets here. Mm. What do we, you know what? I would take that red. Y'all looking at that red like I'm looking. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to I'm just going to roll the dice here. We just going to do some extra damage. That countdown's going to steal the purple. Man, this is this is the first time ever I've been shown up by Honky Tonk Man. No lie. This is the very first time this is ever happened to me especially on video we took an l from the honky tonk man i don't know how to feel about it and i'm not going to use my cash but what we're going to do we're going to have a rerun we're going to we're, we're going to try again because we got to finish this video out we're at 22 minutes 22 minutes y'all we got to bring this home. And you know how we're going to bring this home? We're going to use somebody that many would probably question. But you know what? We're going to stick to the theme. We're going to stick to the theme here. We're going to use a technician. And we're going to use one of the best technicians to ever be at three-star rarity. I will not mention his name due to legal situations and scenarios. But you see who I'm about to utilize and we're about to bring it home because even if there's other technicians out there that dominate this man, this guy right here, he will always be someone that comes through for you and we're about to get it done. Could we possibly hit a pyramid of a SD pyramid, perhaps, in commemoration of this union. We'll soon find out what a unique crew we got running. I don't even know. Don't ask questions. Shake, rattle, and roll this one, uh, freaking honky man. You can take that. You can take that purple if you want. You can go all in if you want to. But we about to get this done. No lie. No lie. But ultimately, y'all, I'm hoping y'all enjoying this video. This has been a learning experience. I never thought I would see a three-star gold honky-tonk man take down a four-star bronze Randy Orton tech. Never thought I'd see it happen. And lo and behold, it freaking happened. Now, let's see what Stardust does this time around. Yes, I mentioned his name, the name that should not be mentioned. I did mention it indeed. And it looks like we might be able to pull off the, the pyramid, perhaps, perhaps. What can we do here, son? Let's see what we can do here for you. Oh, you've been a good boy. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad everything's been working out. The contract looks stacked. The contract looks solid. There's no way around it. 
And here we go. A Christmas tree for all the hassle you gave me, honky. <laughs> Screw you, honky. Screw you, honky. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, see, the power of free to play. Because, yes, the name that won't be mentioned again because it's already been mentioned. Yes, he was a free to play champion before he was properly removed from the game. So, if you still have him alongside, you know, that big C. A-S-S, I won't mention his name either, you are still a lucky fellow, because, or gal, because he's, he's still solid, he still gets the job done, and wow, wow, who would have thought it, I never even thought this would have happened in a video, but things are meant to happen like this, organic reactions, raw footage, that's what it's all about here, and I hope you all enjoyed this, Goodness God, Honky Tonk Man was a pain in the butt. But nonetheless, we got it done. And you know what? We're going to do it like this. What you saw just now, keep it on the hush. Just like our man just did right there. Keep that keep that L on the shh, hush. Because, <laughs> oh my Lord, what am I talking about? You're uploading this video, Zeke 410. There, there's no keeping it on the hush. They're going to see the L anyway. But oh well. Nonetheless, Bad times don't last. I hope you enjoyed this hell mode run. If you enjoy these types of videos, by all means, leave your thoughts in the comments below. By all means, drop that like. Drop that like by any means necessary. And on top of that, most importantly, to be up to date on all future content, please, please do yourself a favor by dropping a people's elbow on the subscribe button as well as hitting a razor's edge on that bell icon to receive all future notifications from this channel mad love to every single one of you on my beloved hashtag champions fam good pulling good feuding good blitzing because it's definitely a good time to be a champion once again y'all what are your thoughts on hybrid champions hybrid class champions coming into effect who do you think is going to be up next for the september mlc once this faction battle royale contest concludes with the regular blitzes that are on the way and under display at the moment with the females but we still got some men blitzes to do we also have the flash feuds this weekend to close things out hit those milestones because at least although we'll be feuding multiple times over that also means multiple multiple i mean multiple faction feud rewards to help you get your resources back in the check before the september mlc begins who's going to be up next a new version of kofi kingston a new version of daniel bryan possibly what about other options sonya deville Mandy Rose, okay? Bailey? An actual organic human? Sasha Banks, the boss, perhaps? There's a lot of things that are up in the air at the moment. But one thing is for certain after doing this, this run on the Tricksters, technicians need some love. Technicians need some love. There's only so many techs that you're going to be able to properly run that are going to get the job done for you every single day. And out of the six classes, they're hands down probably the weakest class now after Powerhouses got that upgrade at, with the four-star goals being introduced with their health and their damage. So we need some more technicians. There's no way around that. And honestly, I could see Daniel Bryan being the answer to that. I could easily see him being an answer to that. But with that being said, I won't hold you up any longer. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going close to, if not over, 30 minutes for this one. I promise we'll chop these videos down shorter as we get better at doing them. But thank you again for being here with me for this experience nonetheless. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your thoughts on what's to come next? What would you like to see in WWE Champions? What type of MLC would you like to see come back around? Because I personally, after dealing with this faction battle royale and after the NXT, T MLC, yeah, it was solid. I honestly think Team Extreme and NWO meets WrestleMania were hands down the best MLCs so far from this year of 2019. But, you know, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below as always. And stay tuned for more content because we still got to do before you feud. And once again, would you like to see more challenge videos? Would you like to see more Classic Champions 101? Let's go ahead and chop it up in those comments so we can make things better as we grow together as a beloved Champions fam. But always remember this. All things have a beginning 
and all things have an end. So in reality, it's only inevitable for all things to fade to black.